Hey, what's going on? It is Shaf, uh, and uh, welcome to my channel, Coding with Shaf. It is Thursday, April 7th, 2022. And yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, my voice is a little shot because I hung out with a friend last night and we talked for a while, more than I've probably ever talked. Well, not ever, but more than I've talked in one sitting for a long time. And we were in a crowded place in New York City called Gray Bar, and I was, um, it was crowded, and I was talking over people and trying to get uh, my conversational partner to hear what I was saying. Probably not the best venue for a conversation, but it was fun. Um, I believe I had a Mai Tai and a beer. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that was my night yesterday, and I had a, we talked physics, philosophy, etc., and I, my voice is shot. So let's let's get to this uh problem hopefully that will help make my voice eventually sound smoother uh it is called uh leak code 1046 last stone weight um this is uh the daily challenge problem and i uh i definitely uh like this problem and to be honest uh it was a problem that i was afraid of uh for a while <laughs> and the reason why uh, was because I always associated this early in my computer science learning life as one of those like you know tricky problems that are like the barrier between simple algorithms and complex algorithms it's a classic problem um, and you know I'm gonna like it and as you can see there's a lot of people who like it versus dislike it which means that generally speaking it has an elegant solution cool well so let's get at it um, you are given an array of integer stones where stones of i is the weight of the ith stone. We are playing a game with the stones. On each turn, we choose the heaviest two stones and smash them together. Suppose the heaviest two stones have weights x and y with x less than or equal to y. The result of this smash is if x is equal to y, both stones are destroyed. If x is not equal to y, both uh, the stone of weight x is destroyed and the stone of weight y has a new weight, y minus x. At the end of the game, there is at most one stone left. Return the smallest possible weight of the left stone. If there are no stones left, return zero. And here is your uh, example, um, 2, 7, 4, 1, 8, 1, 2. And so what's happening is uh, the two largest stones are picked, 7 and 8. And then uh, if they are larger, return this to the array. Uh, so 8 is larger than 7, and their difference is 1. So you put 1. Uh, back on the array. This is what your array looks like. Uh, 4, uh, 2 um, is the next largest 2. Uh, div uh, subtract those 2. You put 2 back on the array. 1 minus 1 is 0. And uh, what's left on the array is 1. Okay. So, basically, the two steps are... Or So, I, the, so what we could do, the brute force way of doing this, brute force is to search the ar array over and over again for the largest stones. And we don't want to do that. We can look for the largest stones, like 7, 8, put those back on. So that's a n squared operation. Again, we look for uh, the next two largest, which is, uh, and then we have to re-add that uh, element back into the array. So there's some time there. Then it's 4 minus 2, another uh, n squared operation, look for the next two, or an n operation, look for the next two largest, add that back on to the array, and uh, again, so on and so forth. And so overall, that's an n squared operation, um, not to mention reordering and removing, uh, just removing everything from the array. So. To me, that's slow, so a faster way of doing this, and that's why I like the solution. There's several ways of doing this faster, um, but to me, I'm a fan of uh, things that are you know, very elegant and also simple to understand. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a heap, specifically a max heap. Um, so um, people who are not familiar with the heap uh, solution to a problem, uh, max heap automatically in much faster time organizes an array of items or organizes a queue of items from 
the largest to the smallest, and you can remove an item and it will reorganize itself uh, in very fast log n time. So that's very important because this re prevents us from having to do unnecessary extra work to iterate through this array over and over again. So removal, the, 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 the hallmark of the heap is the ability to remove things efficiently uh, and we add them efficiently to uh, the data structure. So basically this 8, 7, 4, 1, 2, we, uh, so this, so we have 8, 7, 4, 1, uh, 2, 1, 1, when we add the elements, then we remove these top two, right, and then this becomes, we just pop this off, uh, top, the top two off, 4, 2, 1, 1, and we re-add the difference, 1, this automatically gets sorted, and this happens in, this re-addition happens in log n time, okay, so you can imagine if you're re-adding on every iteration until the uh, data structure is down to zero, you just have n log n operations, okay? Um, and remember, it's always putting these max values when it reorders back to the top of the heap. So that's why this is a good data structure for this problem. Uh, for so now we're adding the elements to the heap. Signs of i. Okay. And now, here's the fun part. Uh, while now this is where we're going to actually do the calculations to return the problem. Remember, we want to um, iterate through this priority queue, right? And we want to uh, update this priority queue if our condition of the top two elements being their difference being non-zero uh, holds, okay? Um, their positive difference. So this is, I'll explain this in a second. This should be it. Pull minus pq pull. Okay. Greater than zero. pq add new stone. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> Um, while PQ is not empty, right, so as, as there's still stones on, in this array, what we want to do is we still want to iterate through it, okay? If the size is, uh, of the priority queue is greater than 1, right, then we do this, new stone, uh, new stone, int new stone equals pq.pull minus pq.pull. If new stone is greater than zero, pq.add new stone. Um, yeah, okay. And then uh, if it's not, then we just return the last. So this will this will be that difference at y minus x mentioned here. Okay, here. If we subtract this, then uh, we um, we can add the the remainder value. So again, it's eight minus seven minus 7, and that is 1, and that's added to the priority queue, okay? So let's let's first try to run this and see how this works. Hopefully this code makes sense, and, and we submit this. Okay, now let's try something. Size. So that's, that worked. Greater than 0. Greater than 1. Then we okay. We get rid of this. Um, Let's see, let's try being a little fancy here. Okay, it didn't really help that much, but yeah, so as you can see, 
um, you know, uh, the, and this runtime varies. Sometimes it could be slower, to sometimes it could be faster. But whatever the case is, the logic is right. And remember, this is an on login operation. We can probably make this a little faster, but to me, this again is elegant. So uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, um, click on the link below. Let me know how I'm doing, and I appreciate any videos. I'm going to try to record a video every day with coding with Chef, and some might not even be coding videos. By the way, any solutions of mine uh, are, are my own. I write the code first, or I write the code on the fly. I don't use anyone else's code to come with these problems, because the point of my work in here is to learn and to help explain the solution to somebody else on this channel. So, who's watching, watching this channel like yourself. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you 